I'm gonna move into the uh, the food prep section now. So, because the the party's starting like fairly soon, so I need to make sure I get this all taken care of. All right, let's slide this up closer for the uh, cooking experience. We're gonna make guacamole for a Fourth of July party. I just went shopping. And this is what I could scrounge up. It was the best I could do. All right, so we're gonna be making a uh, guacamole. It's a party favorite for the uh, July 4th celebration today. Where do we begin? Where do we begin? All right, so I'm actually gonna do the avocados last. What I'm gonna start with is actually gonna be, um, I got this pepper, serrano pepper. Apparently it's much hotter than a jalapeno. But that's fine. Cut off the end, and then we'll just, uh, I guess, just cut it up. Step one. Just got to get into it. I honestly don't have a lot of time, so I'm willing to make tremendous mistakes in order to get this done and to look like an absolute fool. That's fine with me. This is probably going to end up being quite spicy. And I also got one of these. I forget what this one's called. Does anyone know what this kind of pepper's called? <laughs> Was it a uh, habanero? Is that what this one is? Any uh, experts out there? So we're fine with going like extra spicy here. Apparently the seeds make it like even spicier. So maybe I should remove the seeds. What do you guys think? Do I let them burn? What now? Let's get some cilantro. I'll just uh, take that that I just cut. Like, even, it even smells amazing. I could put cilantro on just about anything, really. So, I guess we'll go with the onion next. So, <laughs> I just grabbed an onion. I don't know much about onions and, like, should I watch a how to properly cut an onion tutorial? I'll just start going to town on it, I guess. This is so much onion. It's going to be chunky, man. But that's okay. I don't like it chunky. We're gonna go ahead and uh We're gonna go ahead and put this in the bowl here with the other chopped items. And it's just it's just that easy. Really just that simple. Now we're doing the tomatoes. Guess we're gonna do it the same way. This one's gonna get really uh gonna get really wet. Cause it's all juicy. Doing the same exact thing. Doing like uh perpendicular slices down and then another perpendicular slice across and I didn't even have to watch a tutorial this one is so clean boom Perfect. I'm pretty impressed and proud. Are you guys proud? <sighs> so we got the onions and the tomato. Um, I think with the onions, we might want to, uh, I think we should combine it and add the seasoning and stuff. We're gonna do 1.5. Uh, I'll just use the half for the salt. Dude, it's all chunky. Oh, fuck. You can always have extra salt. Okay, that should be good in terms of salt. Cumin. Pour that in. The cumin has a very earthy smell and taste to it. It's kind of nice. And now for the uh, cayenne. I'll just scoop it out with this one. 
apparently very powerful. I kind of want to go spicy with this. I mean, I've already got the extra spicy peppers and all that. I say fuck it. We just go spicy. Alright, we need garlic. I'll go ahead and squeeze a clove. I feel like that would be about a uh, half tablespoon. Do you guys like garlic? And now I need the lime juice. And then we can do the avocados, I think. The lime juice. I'm actually going to double it, because fuck it. Cooking is an art, alright? Not a science. And now we've got this. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I guess, mix it up. I'm going to use a spoon right here. Ooh, it smells so spicy. So earthy. That's what I like. Just gotta let the flavors combine, you know? Mingle. There's chemistry at work here. Though it's artistic chemistry, not scientific chemistry. <laughs> we can go ahead and get the uh, avocados next. So, I am a bit concerned about the avocados because You know, I just bought them today, and their ripeness is not exactly guaranteed here. That's my biggest concern, is that they're going to be underripe. But uh, with enough force, I can make them ripe. Alright, now I've got all these avocado halves laying around. Time to scoop them out, and then uh, get them in the bowl, and then get this all combined, and <laughs> ready to serve up, I guess. I'll use the the metal one to try and scoop out the, the avocados here. Will I squint and discuss if it's not up to par? It'll be up to par, don't worry. One thing you should know about me, and you can probably get this sense already just from watching this, is I'm not like picky about food, you know? If it's good, it's good, you know, it's simple. Food is it's food. You don't need to get all crazy about it. You know, might not look pretty, but it'll be just fine. Just fine. There we go. Big bowl of avocado right here. I'll add a bit more lime. Alright. Actually, I think I should chunk this up a bit. So I'm just gonna mash this. I don't I think that's what this this spoon's supposed to be for, the wooden spoon. I'm just gonna go ahead and mash. I don't have a potato masher on hand, so I'm just gonna have to use a blunt object and mash. Ah, you guys can hear this, huh? I hope you enjoy these sounds. <laughs> I just got a splat on my face. <laughs> it's getting all squishy. Can you hear it? I'm pretty happy with what we've got here. Definitely chunky still. Will require some chewing. But, uh, you know. It's a big blob now, instead of distinct pieces. And now we can uh, combine everything. That goes right on in. Let's get the tomatoes in. Let's fucking go. God damn, this is chunky. Hell yeah. I think we are done. Let's get a good close look at it. The lighting's a bit fucked, but... uh. Is it? Boom. I think it looks pretty delicious, to be honest. But, uh, I guess we need a taste test. 
Get a fat chunk out. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, these fuckers. <laughs> One sec. What the fuck? Ooh. Salt and pepper. Ooh, ah. It's spicy. But it's delicious. It is fucking delicious. We've completed the the guacamole. Thank you.